Dubai-based Nigerian guitarist and singer Ruben Edenoje is collaborating with the Grammy-nominated producer Roger Ryan for new music. Our Dubai correspondent Mayo Adigoke has the report. Do enjoy. Nigerian singer Ruben Edenoje and Grammy-nominated producer Roger Ryan are working together to chart the young star's international career from this studio in the heart of Dubai. Oh, if this is our story. Aiden Oje moved to the city in 2019 to complete his studies in information technology, but his true desire is R&B soul music, which back home in Nigeria is overshadowed by Afrobeats. If you know Timmy Dakolo, yes, uh, it's, it's been like, uh, it's been one of those people that was stood his ground on the same kind of music like you know it took it, it took a couple of years for people to like accept that kind of music but people are beginning to see the truth in that kind of music and also you have johnny drew a nigerian artist doing folk music exactly and like his people are loving it and also um mr roger said something about um the way i carry or phrase some notes too so even if you look at Johnny Drew still doing the folk music, he still carries the whole African essence. You can't, you can't take it out of it. So no matter the genre of music I pursue or do, it's still African no matter what. So I think the people should start looking beyond the beat itself and look at the people because it's still us. Despite all the beauty, they go to separate ways. There are hardly any Nigerian soul singers on the Dubai music scene. And with one official single and several live performances, Aidenoje is fast becoming a community favorite. Music lovers can expect more from the Edobon singer now under the tutelage of Ryan, a masterclass teacher at the Berkeley School of Music in Abu Dhabi. I think the plan is to have an EP and to have singles, you know, uh, put legs under his music, um, obviously the marketing, content, all the things that an artist needs and um, help him to get into the marketplace, you know, um, further into the marketplace because he has released some stuff. Um, however, you know, we're always looking for the best possible opportunities and um, strategies, if you will, to make those things happen. Then turn. You may have to breathe, right? Roger is multi-talented and has eight Grammy nominations to his name, as well as credit for working with the likes of CeCe Winers, Whitney Houston, Faith Hill, and Michael W. Smith. He has great faith that Aiden Oje's talent is strong enough to shine despite the reign of Afrobeats. Um, for example, Nigeria, Africa, there's a lot of great music and musicians there. But Afrobeats are popular. Afrobeats are not sustainable, sustainable. And the thing is, Ruben does not, he shouldn't have to sing Afrobeats. I'm not saying, hey, not take one of his songs, flip them, do whatever. Hey, I do this. But this is who he is, right? Just imagine if Brian McKnight was born in Nigeria. Do you think he'd be doing Afrobeats? He's Brian. Brian was going to be Brian all of his life. And if you look at his career, Brian has weathered the storm of every music change, right? From boys to men to whatever, all the music that happened, he weathered that storm because of his songs. Ruben is a songwriter and talented songwriter and a singer. And so I think he has lots of potential, but the way to maximize that is to look globally. Look at all the places that have possibility. Why not a song from a Nigerian artist on a Disney soundtrack? Why not? Can we make it change? Can we stop time and take it all back? If this is our story, can we twist and turn? Stop all of the fighting. Aiden Oje's official single is titled Our Story. From Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, Maya Wadegoke 
for channels television.